Hey everybody, it's me, Mark of Manlock Sinks, and today we're gonna talk about anti-filters and kind of how to watermark your images. It's pretty easy and really cool. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about the ND filter you can get. This is still an old one from Impossible. Um, but this is an ND filter. ND filters are f filters that actually take away light from your film. And why do we need this with Polaroid? Well, if you want to use 600 film in your Polaroid S670, which is like the 600 film is too light sensitive for the S670. It takes a ISO 100 film, which is the S670 film. And the 600 takes the ISO 600 film, that's why it's called 600. So these filters are really useful if you only want to buy one type of film and you have a 600 camera and a 670 and you want to use both of them. It's really cool, so you just buy these filters, you put them on top and you can shoot the film in both cameras. Really nice. Um, but we're gonna use this technique um, for a different purpose. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make ourselves a little watermark or the image overlay that we're gonna imprint on the, on the picture. We have to talk about some things first to understand why we do that on the position where the ND filter goes. So with regular analog cameras or digital cameras, I don't know any that have the filter in front of the film. So that's something unique in my opinion with Polaroid. If you know anything different, any project, please put in the comments below. I would really love to see different approaches to this technique. But with Polaroid, we have the nice thing that the film has a lot of space above it, where the mirror is actually to the lens, and we can put stuff there. And that's where the ND filter is actually placed. So we take our Polaroid pack here, so that's our Polaroid 600 black and white film and let's open that up. We have the top layer of the, of the film. With the ND filter we just take it out of the package. So in every pack of the ND filter there's normally two filters. I already had one out. So And what you do with this filter is you have the filter and you put that onto that film. So you just slide it on the top, you can start here, on the sides, into one side, on the other side and then just the bottom leash that goes in here. So now the, the film is covered with an ND filter and you're ready to use that 600 film in your Polaroid S670 camera. What we're gonna do is we're gonna repurpose this layout of the ND filter and use it for overlays. As you can see here already, I have one pack, this one here. You can see there's a lot of details in this pack. And what I, I actually did is I printed out a city map of Vienna, put that on an clear foil that I put on top of the film. And what came out is an image that actually has that map imprinted onto it. Yeah. So that map has the, is imprinted onto that image. We can also use that to, to create watermarks. And now you probably ask why do we have to put that on top of the film and not in front of the lens? Well every lens has a, a distance where it's sharp, where you actually put the focus and distance where it's unsharp. That's behind, that's the bokeh, the background, and in front it's like also the, the unsharpness. So the aperture and the focal length and focusing distance define what parts of the image are sharp. But you will never manage to get anything sharp that's directly in front of the lens. So one option to have a watermark on every image would be to have a really big frame that's actually the size of the image you want to capture every time, which is like probably one by one meter for portraits, um, that you carry around with you not really helpful, so we're gonna go with that ND filter. And since the ND filter is directly on the film layer, it's always completely sharp, it's absolutely in focus. And that's one really cool thing. So for me, for analog things, I wanted to create a watermark. So what I did, I printed out, I got some printable clear foil. In Austria they are called overhead projector folio, uh, so it's just for projecting foils. I will put a link in the description below. But these are made um, to be printed with inkjet or laser jet. So really watch out if you get these. Um, they should be printable if you want to print it on there. I will put in the link below, I will put the PDF with the surroundings, with that layout. So I will put that PDF in the description below so you can download it and make your own designs and, and print them out. So when you get these foils, watch out, there's always one side that is printable and one that's not. So uh, you will feel it. So the one that's a little bit rough that's the one you have to print on. You can download the PDF below and insert your own designs. So what I did is I made a few different designs. One was I actually wanted to make the middle part brighter, so I did uh, analog sinks, written in some rush font uh, with the X in the middle. Uh, looks kind of cool. 
and what I did here is I printed that image gray. That's a 60% gray that the printer put on that layer. And with this settings I was able to shoot the 600 film in the S670. I still had to change it a little bit, but the image came out pretty cool and it has that text embedded on the image and I kind of really love it. So you can see that the text is there and the text is a little bit brighter because as on the as on the stencil you see it's empty and I just put it on top here and you see it perfectly fits the layout of the image. So that's one idea. The other idea is the city maps for example. If you want to go for portraits, it's really cool, you could do something like this. We just have this circle of leaves to give that person in the portrait a nice little frame. It's also an option. Like what you have to think about is when you do this I would recommend letting that ND filter in the pack the whole time. The technique we, should, we used already a few times, which like put a frame on top, works also. But it's probably happening that you move the ND filter off the surface and then you have to fill it out of the camera. It works, you just take some pliers and pull it out. Happened to me, actually, since I was testing all these different ND filters with different films and everything and um, yeah, I just like put a ferro frame on top and moved the ND filter off and like looking where it is, I saw it maybe below, but it actually was in the camera and I had to pull it out again. What do we do? We grab our pack of film, remove the natural ND filter and we're gonna start by cutting out our framing that's printed onto it. Don't worry, you don't have to be perfectly with this one. You just cut it out uh, as you go. Okay, then we can pull out our ND filter. And now I got my stencil. Let's take the film pack and put our stencil on top of that film. So the big lashes, they need to be on the top, on the bottom. So you can actually start with the bottom, put that in. And then we start with the sides, put the sides in on one side, other side, search a bit, put the top in. Perfect, we are ready. Just watch out that you don't have too many fingerprints on there. Clean it a bit, and we're ready to shoot. Let's take 600 camera, put the film inside, film inside, close it, dark slide comes up, and now we're ready to take a picture. So this technique works great with black and white on top. I haven't really figured out the perfect value of black right now um, for, for different like light settings on the camera. Check out Instagram, I will post a, a picture on Instagram with the different viral varieties of opacity. So I'm gonna make a scale from 0 to 100 and how the picture turns out. What you can also do and what I haven't tried yet is to use colored foils. If you have a printer or actually you, you can just cut that off, stick together some color foils. You could also do a pretty amazing uh, stuff I guess. I haven't tried it but I would love to see you guys come up with ideas. So use colored foils, print them. If you're good and Drawing, just take an adding and draw on them as you love to because why not it's just like it's just foil you can draw on it so if you're pretty good in drawing do it you can write messages so you can do whatever you want you can put quotes on top you can put everything there just be creative try whatever you want and I really want to see your results I'm like I just started with that stuff a little bit I, and I had the idea long before I wanted to make sets that I could sell to people with different designs actually I think everybody is able to print that at home so why do the, the stuff like my yeah, sell stuff that's easy to print at home. So in the description below you will have the link for the PDF. Download it, print it, design your stuff, yeah, design it on the computer. I use 60% opacity of black here. Worked pretty good. I will still have to make a test with different charts and see how that turns out. That's it. I hope you liked that idea. If you did, hit like. If you didn't, thumbs down. If you want to, if you have any questions or ideas or like input, uh, I'm really happy to know if you see some other projects using filters exactly in front of the film layer. If you do so, put them in the comments below. Every, every, every other question, just drop them below. I'm really happy to help you and hope to see you next time. Bye.